podcast is now. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Today's presentation will focus on providing you more information about our SIG Innovators program at Yale University. We will highlight the program's components, which include enriching academics, residential life, and social activities to provide you with a comprehensive overview of what students experience during the three-week program. At the end of the presentation, we will provide you with an opportunity to ask questions. In the meantime, please feel free to use the question feature on your dashboard. In addition, we will record this presentation and email it to all attendees. My name is Samantha Duronsel, and I am a program director with SIG. I oversee several of our investigators programs, such as Stewart Country Day School and Bryn Mawr College. I also oversee innovators programs at Princeton University, Bryn Mawr College, and UC Berkeley. I am pleased to be guiding you through our information session today. And I'm Kate Koster, the Director of Operations. I oversee all SIG program operations. We are both very happy to have you join us for this virtual open house. Your participation today indicates that you are interested in your child's education and academic exploration. And so are we. SIG is a program of the AIFS Foundation, a not-for-profit 501c3 organization dedicated to providing educational and cultural exchange opportunities to foster greater understanding among the people of the world. As a nonprofit educational organization, it is our responsibility to advance the development of gifted, talented, and creative youth. Our goal is that students walk away from their SIG experience with a feeling of self-reassurance and confidence. Our program methodology can best be explained by our incorporation of academic, recreation, and social-emotional components. In other words, programming for the whole person. Every child has different interests, abilities, and learning styles. Some are outgoing, while others may need extra encouragement. Some are methodical in their thought processes, while some may be more creative with big ideas in a variety of areas. We recognize and embrace every student's individuality. As we talk today, we will take you through the ways the SIG Innovators Program at Yale University can benefit your student. Simply put, our goal is for your student to have the most rewarding, academically challenging, and socially fulfilling summer possible. We want all students to explore their intellectual curiosities while in a safe, secure, and fun environment. SIG is very excited to be returning to the Yale campus again for our 10th summer. Our three-week Yale session will run from June 28th through July 18th this year and is open to students who will be 13 to 17 years old during the program. We offer three different options for students who would like to attend our Yale program. Students can attend in the residential capacity and reside on campus for the full three weeks. Students can also enroll as day plus evenings and Saturdays students and arrive to campus each weekday morning and on Saturdays, and then depart the campus after the conclusion of our evening activities program, which is around 9.15 p.m. Students can also choose to enroll as day students and commute to the program on weekday mornings and depart on weekday evenings after rec hour at 6.10 p.m. Let's take a closer look at our residential enrollment benefits. Our Yale residential students can take advantage of everything SIG has to offer. Students participate in all four academic periods, recreation hours, evening activities, and both weekend activity days. Residential students have all three meals as a group and reside in a college dorm. As a residential student, your child will experience college life. By living in a dorm with other students and managing their personal space learning to do their own laundry, and even making those healthy choices in the dining hall, your child will gain critical life skills 
such as time management, independence, and self-reliance. Evenings and weekends are also filled with activities for students to engage socially and recreationally. After all, it is summer and we are here to learn and have fun. Now, let's look at a typical academic day for a SIG Yale residential student. Rise and Shine begins at 7.30 a.m. Then it is off to the dining hall for breakfast. This is a morning check-in to ensure everyone is ready for the day, and it's an opportunity to assess whether everyone in their group is feeling well, starts the day off on the right foot, and is just excited about the day. After breakfast, the counselors will escort students to what we call the hub in which everyone transitions into the groups for their first period classes. The counselors acting as teaching assistants will escort their students to their classrooms. This process repeats itself throughout the academic day and for lunch. At the end of the academic day, it's time to unwind with rec hour, a bit of dorm time, and then dinner. After dinner, students can work on out-of-class assignments and group projects. Then it is back to fun with a special evening activity planned for each night. Some evenings have some downtime built in for laundry and relaxation. Now let's take a closer look at our host institution. Yale University, a private research university in New Haven, Connecticut, is a member of the Ivy League. Founded in 1701, the university is the third oldest institution of higher education in the United States. In 2020, Yale ranked third among national universities by the U.S. News and World Reports. Yale has produced many notable alumni, including five U.S. presidents, 17 U.S. Supreme Court justices, and several foreign heads of state. Yale's buildings, towers, lawns, courtyards, walkways, gates, and arches comprise what one architecture critic has called the most beautiful urban campus in America. In summer 2020, our students will reside in the Jonathan Edwards Residential College, often referred to as JE. The college is named after Yale's first child prodigy, Jonathan Edwards, who was enrolled at Yale just before turning 13 years old. There's a small memorial for Jonathan Edwards before entering the basement of J.E. On the wall is an excerpt from one of his most famous speeches. J.E. started construction in 1931 and first opened to undergraduates of Yale University in 1933, making it Yale's oldest residential college. In the planning stages, university administration borrowed housing ideas from British universities Oxford and Cambridge. This, combined with the fact that it was built before the residential college plan was adopted, makes JE the most unique and eccentric residential college at Yale. Although JE prides itself on remaining true to its original architectural structure and design, it has gone through several renovations since opening in 1933. Today, the Jonathan Edwards Residential College contains a common room, dining hall, not one but two pianos, game room, a student-run kitchen called the Buttery, gym, art gallery, printing press, theater, dance studio, and a lovely courtyard right in the middle. Many of these amenities are available to our students during their sixth day. The dorms at Jonathan Edwards differ from most residential colleges in the country in a way that they were built in a townhome style. They are between two to four floors high and have two suites per floor. We group students and place them into townhomes by gender and age. Each group is assigned to a specific townhome entryway. The students' counselors also reside with their group of students within the same entryway so they can provide supervision and assist students with any needs. The dorm rooms at Jonathan Edwards College are singles or doubles grouped together within one suite. Most of the dorm rooms in JE are doubles and there can be up to four double rooms per suite. Each suite has a common space where students get to hang out and spend some time together. 
All rooms are furnished with an extra long twin bed, mattress, desk, chair, and a dresser. Students from two suites on the same floor will share a single sex bathroom in the hallway. This year, we are offering 32 exciting and challenging courses at our Yale program. SIG's STEAM Plus curriculum takes a multidisciplinary approach to learning that engages students in creative thinking to help them solve real world problems for their futures in STEAM fields such as science, technology, engineering arts and humanities, mathematics, and fitness. The curriculum at SIG is based on a model of academics that involves both enrichment and acceleration. Our academic approach allows for flexibility, offers personalized learning, provides opportunities for problem-based learning, and nurtures the whole person. SIG's multi-curricular course content enables students to establish individualized learning goals and directives catered toward their interests. This freedom to explore topics that are dear to them increases a student's sense of self-efficacy and encourages students to speak up for what they are passionate about without fear of rejection. At Yale, our SIG courses take place in classrooms at the various Yale schools across the campus, in their science labs, or at the Payne Whitney Gym. An interesting fact about the Payne Whitney Gym is that it's actually a 14-story Gothic-style building with 12 acres of indoor space. It is the second largest gym in the world by cubic feet. To paint a bigger visual picture of the classroom environment, let's view a couple of photos from some of our 2019 classes. Here we have our self-defense and fencing classes engaged in their physical activities. Here are a couple of additional photos from our biochemistry and Broadway Beckins classes. You can see students busy at work conducting experiments and practicing for their Broadway Beckins performance. Students who are enrolled in SIG's performance art courses will create performances and displays to be showcased during our academic performance program to which all parents are cordially invited. As mentioned previously, in summer 2020, SIG Yale students can choose from 32 stimulating courses. As you can see, there are multiple course offerings available each period for each age level. When filling out your application, you can choose a primary and alternate course for each period. This year, we are offering 18 new courses at Yale, including Bionic Humans, Artificial Organs to the Rescue, Navigating AI Robotics, and Podcast Production. Our students will be dining at the Grace Hopper College Dining Hall. Yale really prides itself on its emphasis to health, wellness, and sustainability when it comes to its hospitality and food service operations. This is reflected in everything from the cooking techniques employed to the plate portions offered and the ingredients used. Yale Dining Services are mindful of participants' dietary restrictions and food allergies. All meals are clearly labeled with possible allergens and list all ingredients. Their menus feature a variety of animal and plant-based proteins and produce and produce from local and regional farmers. To learn more about Yale's dining services and to view a dining menu, you can visit Yale's hospitality website at the listed web link. This online nutrition tool helps participants view the daily meal offerings and see which ones are the best suited for their dietary needs. All SIG Yale students, whether residential or commuting to the program, will participate in recreation hour. Whether they are interested in sports, art, or joining a club, students can choose a different activity each day. Some options at Yale may include basketball, volleyball, soccer, chess, frisbee, dance, creative arts, possibly a visit to the Yale bookstore or just relaxing and hanging out with friends. SIG's evening activities program allows students to showcase their talents and be their true selves surrounded by like-minded peers. Social engagement is the key to SIG evenings. Some of the activities your student will participate in are long-standing traditions, such as the Brain Bowl, which is a competitive Jeopardy-like game, 
counselor activity nights in which the counselors plan something special for their group. And the most looked forward to event, the dance. Other activities include the signature SIG talent show, sing-off, banner night, movie night, and much more. SIG weekends are a time to relax, unwind, and form bonds that last a lifetime. At Yale, students have multiple options to explore each weekend, ranging from a variety of fascinating museums and galleries in New Haven, to movie theaters, to thrilling venues such as Escape New Haven. Other activities may take place on the quad, and those may include movie nights, SIG Olympics, and more. We value the richness of cultural diversity in our programs, and we welcome students from all over the world to attend our SIG programs. The SIG Yale program is also very diverse and at about 30% of international students who attended the program last year. You might also be interested to know more about our Yale instructors. SIG hires instructors based on their expertise and qualifications. Our instructors have at least a bachelor's degree. The majority of instructors hold a master's degree, and some instructors have a doctorate. 60% of our 2019 Yale instructors had earned a master's or a doctoral degree. To paint the big picture of our staff, the Yale program is overseen by a program director as well as an on-site director. The director resides on campus. Our administrative team is rounded out by an academic dean who oversees academics, a residential life dean who manages safety and security in the dorms, and a student activities dean who is responsible for planning social events for our students. Your main point of contact will most likely be the office manager who answers any questions about the program. All instructors are accompanied by a teaching assistant in the classroom. The TAs also act as counselors in the dorm, adding an additional level of support for your child. The well-being of your child is another aspect we take great care in ensuring. Whether it be their physical health or social-emotional growth, all SIG program staff take great pride in knowing each child and their needs. A nurse also lives on campus and is available 24 hours a day to assist students. Safety and security are our most critical concerns. We have created a model in which students live in the dorms divided by counselor groups of 10 to 20 students. These groups are assigned by age and gender. Counselors escort students to meals, classes, and events. Our 13 to 14 year olds live in groups of 12 to 16 students and may walk to classes, meals, and events in buddy groups of three or more after the fourth academic day. Now, let's talk a little bit about our senior students who are ages 15 to 17 and their privileges. It is important for us to mention that for your child to participate in senior privileges, they must be age 15 by August 31st of this year. We recognize their need for independence and gaining the experience they will need shortly as they head off to college. They too will be able to travel around campus in groups of three or more, and they have the choice as to whether or not they will participate in rec hour activities. We've also devised some evening activities geared specifically towards this age group. All SIG Yale students are provided with a campus boundary map and office phone numbers that they carry with them daily. It is important to note that no student is allowed outside of the designated campus boundaries or off campus without the supervision of SIG staff. They at times may feel this is too restrictive, but as much as we are helping them to spread their wings, this is one area in which we are steadfast. Upon arrival to Yale, all students and staff are issued their own campus prox cards and room keys that are programmed to grant them access to their assigned dorm facilities, classrooms, and dining hall. To ensure an additional level of security, the Yale Security Department serves as the eyes and ears of the Yale Police Department by patrolling buildings and monitoring security systems 24-7.
Over the years, SIG alumni have shared with us the most rewarding aspects of the program. A reoccurring theme that we hear is the leadership skills students hone through their participation in the program. SIG alumni learn independence, make lasting friendships, achieve academic enrichment, and much more. A defining component of SIG Innovators programs is the personal power built within each student. To achieve this level of self-direction unimpeded by the pressures they will encounter in their everyday lives, they need to be aware of and develop their personal powers to a significant degree. SIG helps students face the enormous global challenges ahead to be exceptional and creative problem solvers and to achieve the greatness of which they are capable. If you are interested in exploring additional information about our programs, please view one of our previous or upcoming webinars. We hope this webinar provided you with a comprehensive overview of the SIG Innovators Program at Yale University. We would like to thank you for all your great time and questions and for taking the time to join us today. For any questions that you may still have pertaining to your specific needs, please feel free to reach out either by phone or email. You can also find more information on our website at giftedstudy.org. And don't forget to connect with us on social media. Have a wonderful rest of your day.